and welcome to Daniel workshop today we are going back to the basis to I mean I started this channel with uh, with sharpening knives and I made some other things so I'm back with uh, with uh, with another movie on sharpening I got this uh, this is my uh, kitchen knife that I use in my kitchen day-to-day -day, uh, knife nothing special and the other day I was cutting some tomatoes and he didn't want to cut so I said I didn't make a movie for some time with sharpening and I said it, it should it's time to make a movie about sharpening a knife uh, today I, uh, we are going to use a Naniva Homestone Naniva Homestone is uh, like the entry level of of uh, Naniva in the meantime they they swapped it and now they don't have the multi the home stone anymore they have the multi stone they call it this is a 17 and a half centimeters by five and a half the multi stone i think it's a 18 and a half one centimeter longer and one centimeter wider same thickness about uh, two and a half centimeters uh, so this is the old version uh, the, this uh, this version was uh, is actually was because they don't make it anymore was made in Japan the new version the multi multi stone is made in in uh, Vietnam but I think it's essentially the same stone uh, with uh, bigger dimension they, they look they look very 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 much the same so I'm going to sharpen this knife um, I had this uh, this stone in the past but I sold it it was it was let's say my second or third stone and I like actually I was expecting from it um, to be a splash and go stone but it's a uh, it's actually a soaking stone this one I have just used in in another movie I have two channels one in English one in Romanian and I just use it to sharpen another knife so it's already soaked it's not soaking water anymore I've soaked it in my bath there so like I said when I got it first time I didn't like it too much because it was not a splash and go I was expecting a splash and go it was I was at the beginning of sharpening and I said no no I don't like this stone I, I better sell it so I sold it but in the meantime I found some some other stone uh, I trade stone I buy stones I sell stones I, I like stones uh, now I'm going to put some pictures with my collection So you saw my collection of stones this is my personal collection I have various stones so I buy I sell I trade uh, I swap I whatever I like stones I don't like knives I like stones so we'll be using this stone I mean I look at, on YouTube I didn't find so many too many movies about this uh, this uh, Naniva home stone what I saw a movie with somebody that had it had it cracked and I think it happened because I know this firsthand from a friend of mine. He called me one day and said, Oh, I have a big problem. I said, What happened? I have my uh, Naniva Super Stone. I left it in the water, the 10 millimeter one. I left it 10 millimeter thick. I left it in the water and it got warped. So I said, Wow. And he asked me, What should I do? I said, Buy another one. I said, No, 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 no. So what he ended up doing, he put that stone on a piece of glass. And he put a bucket of water on top of it full of water <laughs> with water and till second day he told me that uh, the the stone got uh, flat again and then what he did is uh, and what i recommended him to do is to take a piece of glass same uh, same dimension with the with the naniva and glue it on the on the stone on the on the glass glue the stone on the glass I have also a movie with that and like that um, the stone becomes thicker 
so you can use it more but also you won't have the the problem with warping but let's get back to sharpening so first thing is first uh, like i told you in the past uh, i use a marker so this is not a this is not a instructional movie per se it's a movie with what i do in my workshop so treat it as it is i'm not a specialist i'm just enjoying sharpening so let's start one thing i want to tell you about this uh, this uh, naniva homestone is if you put your hand on it and you feel it you don't it's not easy to to understand which side is uh, is the coarse and which side is the fine side it's actually a thousand with three thousand uh the red one is uh is the 1000 the coarse let's say and the brown one light brown let's say is the 3000 but if you compare it with another stone that i have this is a misarka stone german made it's a fepa 500 with fepa 12000 which is a 1000 with 4000 by touch you can i mean you don't have to read to understand which is the coarse side same thing with this uh, with this Naniva Superstone that I have. It's uh, the 800 with 5000. Let's say also here you can you can feel that this reddish side it's a, it's coarser than than the blue side, but here it's not that obvious. So let's say let's say let's start sharpening. Um, if you want to learn how to sharpen, I mean you should watch perfection movies he has tons of instructional movies how he does it he uses various stone techniques he knows this uh, this is called the push pull method i think and this is the trailing edge i use a combination i don't have a, a technique by itself i just rub the knife on the stone making sure that all the time that I have more or less the same angle because if you don't have the same angle you don't you can't sharpen a knife so the stone is not It's not super fast, but it's it's uh, it's okay. It's uh, for a thousand stone for a thousand. It doesn't give the the same feedback that I've expected. I can expect from a soaking stone, a one thousand soaking stone. You hear it? The noise is quite different it's a little usually the soaking stones are just uh, bounded uh, ab abrasive powder they don't have anything in it it's just the abrasive which is uh, put together with water i think and it's cooked in a at high very high temperature so at very high temperature the the abrasive material usually silicon carbide or um, not usually silicon carbide actually it's more in the silicon carbide was used in the past and is more used now in the let's say in the oil stone uh, aluminum oxide it, most of the of the sharpening stones these days they use aluminum oxide which uh, they bond together at very high temperature about one 1500 more or less uh, degrees celsius so they are put they are put in a in a in an industrial oven and they are bonded together the non-soaking stones like this one is a resin bonded they have they have some other things and it's not only the abrasive particles they have also some resin and this one this one has sulfur in it so they they have various techniques in making stones why i'm talking about that because this stone it seems that it's not so what is uh, the 
characteristic of soaking stone is that they don't have any other material in it, just the abrasive powder. The, the non-soaking stones, they have also some kind of other material that fill the gaps between the abrasive particles, so they don't, they don't draw water. This one is it's in between. It's a soaking stone, and I think they 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 put some other some other thing in the stone. Not only not only abrasive particle, but I think they use also some kind of uh, of resin or something. Uh, the stone is medium medium hard and also medium fast. Quite okay. It's yeah. It removes material quite okay. I'm also trying now to to make a shallow angle, shallower angle than the knife because I was talking with somebody on a on a Facebook group, and he was saying that. If you if you sharpen a knife to a shallow angle, uh, surprisingly the edge lasts longer. And I'm going to test this. So when you change the angle of the knife to a shallower angle, actually, it takes longer time to sharpen. Actually, to raise a burr, not to sharpen, because once you have a burr, you know that you hit the the apex on of the of the edge. So okay, I got the burr flipped on both sides. Now I'm going to do um, trailing hand trailing edge, I think it's called, and I'm going just to flip the burr from one side to the other. I don't know by, uh, about you, but all the movies that I watch with uh, with uh, sharpening are quite boring, except, except Outdoor 55, I think it's called the channel. His name, the guy, the guy names is, is uh, Alex. <laughs> it's a very, very funny guy. I mean, he put Plots twist in the sharpening. He's he's, uh, he's not only a sharpening guy. He's an ent ah, I don't know the word. <laughs> and I want ah, how what's the word? Entertainment guy. Yes, he's an entertainment guy, and his movies are also some funny. So yeah, just just uh, look for the guy and. Watch his movies, <laughs> they are quite nice. Some of them, yes, they are quite nice. Especially one with the, when he was, he tried to sharpen a ceramic based knife. I tried it too. It's a bitch to sharpen a ceramic knife. And his movie is very, very nice. <laughs> yes, it's, it's nice. Just watch him. Um, thinking about the movie and I, I laugh now because it's nice. <laughs> okay. So more or less I've, I've, I'm done with the 1000. We'll be moving at, uh, 3000 side. Uh, and I'll show you something that I don't like about the combination stone. And it's not only this, any combination stone. See, when you sharpen, you have, uh, water going down and you contaminate the the finer side so every time when you move to a, to a different to the finer side you have to clean the finer uh, side very very well because you might get it contaminated with the with the with the harder side and then your edge will not be fine Okay, so let's move to the finer side. This is the 3000 side. And comparing with the other one, yeah, you can feel it, it's a, it's a finer. 
you can fill it with the knife now the knife is just gliding but what I observe when I did the Romanian movie is that the stone gets clogged a little not too much and also this one is a it's like medium hardness it's not very 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 hard it's about medium hardness and as you see it gets clogged see but this side comparing with the with the red side doesn't make that much slurry it's a little 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 more hard a little harder actually the word and comparing with the with the other stone that I tested it's also this one is uh, not the fastest 3000 that I've tried but it's okay and it produces a very 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 fine result I mean it's mirror polish already from the turn off this light so you can see it without without using a without using a straw I got mirror polished just filling for the bore yeah you can see the other side and do the same thing like I said I don't have a technique I just <laughs> basically rub the knife on the stone trying to keep the same angle so like I said in the in I didn't say it actually in, in, the, in the English movies I said it in my Romanian movies is if you feel that I'm doing something right you can copy me if you feel that I'm doing something wrong don't copy me so either way <laughs> you have something to learn from this if you watch it things to do or things not to do so I didn't flip the edge yet on this side so we'll be doing about 10 15 more passes and then we'll go to alternative okay yeah it's okay now let's do uh, alternative passes against the edge I do about 40 of them if I can count them if not I'll do about 40 <laughs> either way I do 40 I think I did 7 8 9 10 11 12 it's very hard to count and to speak so I'll try to count and to speak and I'll stop at 40 and you count it and see how many I have 20 I think <laughs> no it's not sharpening a knife is not a, a precise I mean yes sharpening a professional knife yeah that be they'll be uh, a precise and artist, artistic thing or I mean I saw some movies with uh, with Japanese master sharpening a, a katana sword so yes there you have to be to be to have a very 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 good technique and constant technique because they only do that they sharpen katana swords so um, and what I saw in these movies I think I've made about 30 passes what I saw in these movies they use they hold the the, the, the sword and they, they rub the stone on it and of course they use natural wet stones and man I looked at the prices of some some uh, natural wet stone and some of them they go to 
thousand dollars and I wow a thousand dollars I have a few on my own as I saw in as you saw in the pictures at the beginning I have about two Japanese ones and they're quite nice stones but I just discovered lately a Chinese stone that I have which is superb I just sharpened one of my uh, my uh, straight razors and it came out very very nice so yeah I think we did 40 and now we'll be doing uh, 10 or 20 passes uh, to strop the edge on the stone quite I don't I don't feel the edge as in other other uh, knives and other stones so I don't like the shape of this knife too much because I have problems here with the tip in uh, traveling on the stone but does a nice job once it's sharpened all right so I think more or less should be sharpened to be honest I don't feel the edge let's see cuts hair like nothing turn off this light so it here yeah you see it and it's not stropped yet we take a okay let's see it on the paper but on the paper it should cut very nice I mean cut hair without problem and I didn't strop it yet on my uh, leather strop we'll be doing that in a second but I just want to see if it cuts the top of the paper wow yeah yeah it came out very nice came out very nice let's strop it a little and then we'll wrap it up and I'll tell you about my feedbacks my feedback actually about the stone and that's it okay so that's more or less done that's my knife sharpened with the with the Naniva home stone 1000-3000 um, I think that's the perfect combination for a, for a stone to have in the in the in your house 1000 4000 1000 6000 1000 3000 so more or less that's the that's the combination that I recommend I mean I recommend I'm I'm not that specialist to recommend but I, that's the combination that that I think you should have in your home and I'm talking about uh, regular knives the knives that they don't have chips because if the knife is chipped then you need to use um, a lower grit stone so you can remove more material from the edge but for a day-to-day -day sharpening the 1000 with 3000 1000 to 4000 I think that's the that's the combination to have in the house okay so let's finish cutting this uh, piece of paper okay yeah it cuts nice let's wrap it up and talk about the stone so um, like I said when I was sharpening it seems like a medium medium to fast actually medium to fast stone it's not the fastest uh, stone that I use uh, as a consistency yes that's that's a medium stone it's not very hard not too soft it's okay it's a, it's a, I mean money wise and what it does it's quite a nice stone 
what I don't like about it, if I can say, let's see, is that the 3000 uh, side gets clogged, but I see that it's a, uh, you can clean it, uh, it's okay to clean. I'm looking, uh, yes. I have here a Nagura stone that I use, a 4000 Nagura stone. Uh, 12,000 grit uh, FEPA that I use after after all my sharpening to clean the surface of the stone for any any uh, wow <laughs> I have a a brain fart or any metal shavings, yes, that they can uh, remain on the stone. I see that it gets, yeah, it can be cleaned very, very fast. So, to be honest, it's quite a decent stone for the house. And soaking stone, stocking wise, also the Chinese ones are pretty close to this one. But the Chinese ones are a little, a little faster than this one. But the fine, is, the fine side of the Chinese is is not leaving such a, a mirror polish. It's a little hazy. So that's a, that's an advantage on this uh, Naniva stone. It should be. I mean, it's Naniva. Uh, Naniva makes uh, very nice stones. So, more or less, this is the, the movie with the Naniva 1000-3000, Naniva Homestone. Uh, let's not forget about four things that I told you in my previous movies. Subscribe, bell, like, and comment. Any of them will help my channel grow. And if you have questions or if you want to see any of my stones in action, just leave me a message and... I'll try to see when I have time to make another movie. So till next time, have a nice day and and nothing. <laughs> That's it. Goodbye.